guys, this is Boss of 2190, and uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating a program I made for Windows computers called Network Conversation. It's an IM client for use of the command line. And um, basically, it's a program that lets you uh, send messages back and forth between between each other and uh, I'm going to show it to you right now. The link to download is going to be in the description. All right. Okay, so first thing you you want to do um the person who's going to be host one person is who's talk, who's chatting is going to have to be it's going to have to have the P1 the network conversation P1 executable open while the other person who's talking to that person is going to have the uh, network conversation p2 executable okay open so what you're going to need to do is get the ipv4 address of both the compute computers that are going to be chatting i'll show you how to do that open cmd that will be this one right here Enter. It says it'll say searching for chat buddy. Now, it, if this happens, click both boxes and allow access. Now, I'll say it's searching for a P2 software. So, open the P network conversation. So, um, here's where the other person opens the uh, network conversation p2.exe. Um, then now just enter. Now here, where's the uh, network conversation p1.exe should have put in the IPv4 address of the person who's using the p the p2.exe. Sorry. The um p2 person using network conversation p2.exe is gonna have to put in the IPv4 address of the person using the Network conversation p1.exe. So, yeah, since I'm on the same one computer, it's going to be the same for me. Alright, now once they've connected, you'll get the, these two messages. Network conversation p1.exe will display connected this message, and p2 will display now connected that message. So P1 has to send the first message. And uh, t just type it. And uh, press enter to send it. And as you see it's popped up on two on um, two different on the network conversation p2.exe so now yeah p1.exe is going to have to wait for p2.exe to send a reply then once you send your message you have to wait for the other person to reply before you can send another one but here's the thing try to keep messages relatively short because if you try, if your message is too long, it could, it could uh, overload the connection, cause the program to crash. Kind of crappy, I know, but it's my. F but uh, I'll try and demonstrate that. Yeah, because that message was kind of too long. See, so I um, just click abort. Then, then I'll close. And now let's. Reopen them again because I want to keep. Cause, so, yeah, once you're done talking, you just. 
click this little X button, and there you go. So that's now our conversation. Link to download the description. Enjoy. This is WhatsApp two one nine zero, and I'm signing off.